Hello everyone, Ultimate Steve here, and today I'm starting a new series, which I should probably finish some of my existing series before repeatedly starting new ones, but since when have I ever been wise? Anyway, this is solid rocket booster only uh, science mode, because career mode would just be awful. Uh, let me check the levels on the volume. Okay, good, you still should be able to hear my voice through this. And I should probably stop looking at OBS and start doing my gravity turn, because I only have these reaction wheels. I should probably do the science. Now, you're wondering why I have these parts unlocked? It's because I, uh... Uh, uh, I uh, I did some launch pad science, but no one wants to see that. It's the most boring thing imaginable. Uh, so this should be able to take us to orbit and hopefully back. Uh, but uh, Jeb may not survive that. I basically the issue is we're not turning over fast enough. Okay, hold on. Actually, no. This is actually good because like we're gonna run out of fuel. We can coast until we're like near our apoaptus, and then we can fire this big solid rocket booster in the middle. Uh, I forget which I forgot which ones of these I had already toggled, uh, but now we're flying high, so I should be able to toggle whichever ones I haven't. Log, keep, keep. Uh, log temperature, keep. Okay, so now we've gotten flying high, and hopefully we'll be able to get both space high and space low on this mission. All right. I'm going to fire up the middle solid rocket booster now. And this should take us... I want to get the Apoaptus in space. And then I can wait however long to fire the hammer afterwards. And then I'm going to be able to fire the... Uh, the fleet upper stage doesn't have much fuel in it, it's just to deorbit with. Because it's the, solid, the smallest solid rocket booster I currently have access to. Now what do I want to do with this series? Uh, I think going everywhere like is a bit ambitious. But I do want to finish the tech tree without, like, spamming. And I do also want to go most places. Like, I've already done, like, some of the harder places, like, even Tyler, so I should be able to go everywhere. It's just, I want to be able to do things that you wouldn't usually think of doing with solid rocket boosters. I kind of want to make a moon base. I kind of want to do at least one docking. Uh, so, all right. Anyway, now we are traveling at most of orbital velocity. So this hammer stage might actually be overkill to get into uh an orbit although i left my better time warp on for a different project which you may or may not ever get to see and we should be good to fire up that stage now and it should be enough to get us into high uh space above kerbin as well i'm going to observe the mystery i'm going to log the pressure data i'm going to log the temperature and then we have one set of science left which i also could use for landing if we don't make it into high space but we're going to make it in high space we're going to make it, uh, as long as we don't accidentally escape Kerbin. Well, we won't escape Kerbin. Okay, we're good. So now we can, uh, I'm going to keep that stage attached just to grab myself a stage buffer, because if I accidentally fire this solid rocket booster, it's kind of game over. I'm going to get an EVA report. I'm going to get a crew report. I'm going to go to high space. And then I'm going to do my last round of science experiments. EVA report. Wow, I accidentally stored, uh... <laughs> A, a, a barometer in the command pod. I was wondering where that went, because I was trying to place it and it didn't go anywhere, so I guess I accidentally put a barometer into my command pod's inventory, just in case I need a fifth barometer on board. And that should be all of the science, so if I planned this right, I should just be able to time warp to Apoapsis, and then fire my solid rocket booster retrograde. And that may have been too much, but we did indeed deorbit. I didn't, I didn't include a heat shield. I don't even think I've unlocked the heat shield yet. Maybe I have. I think that might be in the barometer node. But I should still survive. Like, I I'm definitely going to survive this. There's no way... With 2,900 meters per... Jeb, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm very sorry, Jeb. I didn't mean for it to happen like this. Okay, actually, we're going to lose the science. I'm a bit more concerned about the science. Okay, all the thermometers are gone. All the barometers are gone. All the mystery goos are gone. This mission was for nothing. Jeb! No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jeb's dead. <laughs> okay, so, step one. We have unlocked the heat shield, right? We have. Jeb didn't have to die. <laughs> okay, so, place this there. Uh, produce a blader, because we don't really need that much. And then move the thermometers up a bit and get that barometer out of the command pod. It's obviously bad luck. 
And I'm going to reduce the thrust limiter on this solid rocket booster to about, uh, let's say, 33. About a third, so I have three times as long to burn, and I'm going to do like a snake motion to bleed off most of the fuel. If, if, if I need excess, like I'll do, I'll, I'll, y y yeah, y y you know what I mean. So hopefully this time it'll work. Okay, take two, wait, Jeb, Jeb, I hit tracking station, right? Oh, I have missing Kerbal's respawn on, hold on. Jeb, you're supposed to be dead. Act like it. <laughs> Die. You're not supposed to be immortal. Immortality is... It, it corrupts the soul. <laughs> what? Third flight? This is our second flight. Who said anything about another flight that totally didn't happen? Alright, Bill, you're up, uh, and hopefully uh, you'll, you'll come back down as well. In, in one piece this time. Instead of a very... Uh, in, instead of in a gaseous or plasmic state. <laughs> Is plasmic a word? That sounds like a really cool word. It should be a word. Okay, we have a much better put together gravity turn this time around. And I think I'm actually gonna hold here for a while because I don't know if this part is aerodynamically stable without the uh, fins at the back. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. Wait, what's that? SRB orbiter ship? Oh no, that's the, I think that's our stage that we dropped or something. Unless we came over, is that? What is that? I have no idea what that is. Is that just the lower stage from the second flight that didn't happen that just kind of st stayed there? <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. Okay, uh, stage two, we're go, we're go. We're flying high, so I'm gonna do the other set of science. I guess that's one positive about this is that we won't have any boring biome hopping in this series because we, we can't really biome hop with, with solid rocket fueled uh, crap without like going through major hoops. If we do biome hop, it'll be very entertaining because it'll be a unique way of doing things. Uh, we're not gonna burn our parachute off, right? Right? Bill? <laughs> Are we gonna burn everything? No, okay, okay, I think we should be good. Okay, we're good. Alright, so we can get rid of that. And then wait until we're spa in space. Like, honestly, hold on. How? What's our horizontal speed? It's gonna be like 1600 up here. Like, what's our... Uh, delta V to orbit? 646. Uh, if we fired everything, we could probably get to the MUN right now, but it would be a one-way trip, so we're not going to. Oh, I forgot that I turned the thrust limiter on, so I will have to do, uh, this. Uh, what's, what's our high space altitude? That should be under high space altitude, 250 kilometers, so we just need our apoapsis above 250. While I'm here, I'm gonna do some science. And we still have, like, 800 meters per second left, but the shame is we can't use that anywhere else. So... We're gonna orbit, we're gonna raise our F to 250, and then we're just gonna like... Actually, no, we can just put the rest into a plane change maneuver. Like, that won't even, like, mess with our orbit. Uh, we, we just gotta, like, face this way. Because, like, we don't really worry about plane on this mission. So we can just burn the rest of our fuel like this and go, like, wee. <laughs> That's quite the in inclination we've got there. Okay, now don't accidentally press spacebar, whatever you do. And we, that should be high space, so we can do this science. And then we should have a much more manageable entry velocity, assuming that this small solid rocket booster is actually enough to get us home. So, uh, three, two, one, fire. And, okay, good. That basically just made us exactly uh, tangent to the surface, minus a little small amount. And now we do have a heat shield, so if Bill dies here, it is... Uh, a severe mess up on my part. So now we wait. And there we, you have it. Wait, uh, okay, okay, whew, we would have survived. I was like, I put the shoot altitude down to 500, which is usually okay, uh, but I forgot that I had all these heavy experiments on here, so I EVA built the last second, just in case. But we survived, Bill survived, uh, the science has survived. So we should be able to unlock some other stuff, but nothing of much consequence because really we just want solid rocket boosters. If we can get to the Sepatron, that will make moon landing a lot easier. I don't know if we can reliably do moon landing uh, pre-Sepatron. 165.5 science, let's go. And I reflexively went into mission control for contact, but this is science mode. So the next big solid rocket booster isn't until heavy rocketry. 
And we really want precision propulsion because of the Sepatron. And that's going to be 160 plus 90 uh, plus 45 science, which is I, 295 science. We don't have that, and we've kind of exhausted everything except for the mun. So I'm going to grab more quality of life stuff. Like, I want this science experiment so we can actually get science. And uh, what what's the other thing? We're going to want... Well, this is a radial decouplers are a thing we want, and flight control is a thing we want. General construction, we can. And that gives us auto strut, so I guess I'll take it. But now we need uh, probably a MUN flyby to get uh, an amount of science necessary for the Separatron to get MUN landing, so yeah. But before we do all that hard stuff, let's just get some science from like the pad and like low altitude and whatnot from this new thing. You're kidding me. Is it really going to be that I can't? No, 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 it can't. We have to slow down, right? Like, there's no way that this is aerodynamic enough to, like, shoot into the surface at Mach 3 like everything always is. Okay, good. The shoots are, are good. And... Touchdown. I have not gotten a crew report from this biome yet, so I'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Is that enough to get me anything? Nothing of, like, consequence, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll get advanced rocketry just to work my way towards precision propulsion, but I do think we are going to have to do the MUN flyby. Or maybe I'll do the science base in orbit first, I guess. I do believe it is Valentina's uh, turn in the career station. I actually uh, thought differently. This is not going to orbit. Uh, this is just going to go straight up, straight down to 255 kilometers, hopefully, and get low space and high space uh, science junior whatevers. And I'm going to get the crew report going because I haven't got that yet. That's a problem. You know what? Let's go to let's go anyway. Okay, well wait until we have no drag. But I should be able to save this and fire this uh to get us to two hundred and fifty five and then like sideways enough so that we we still like have a chance at re entering without exploding. Uh hundred and fifty five actually hold on. Straight up because two hundred and fifty five is actually pretty high. Two, three, four. Okay, that's that's high enough. Straight sideways. Okay, and that might be survivable. Granted, I added drogue shoots, so it should be survivable. But it's gonna be borderline, I think. You know what I actually could do is I could grab the. Oh, ugh. okay. Never mind. Let's not do that because we're in the crack and drive position. Okay, now hopefully we slow down enough to not completely die on reentry. Okay, that's getting warm, but. Not really a concern. That is getting really warm. That is a concern. Oh, we lost. Uh, okay, we lost everything we came here for. But at least Val will survive, I guess. <laughs> Another epic fail of a mission. I mean, I guess I can get a surface sample of the ocean, so it's not a complete loss. And probably a crew report from the ocean as well if I take that one out. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is after three successful missions without dying, the crew gets to retire. Oh, I, I load the wrong ship. I load SRB Orbiter instead of SRB Suborbiter. <laughs> okay, now, Bill, it, it's Bill's turn. So, I'm not going to count that as a flight Bill survived. I will have a, re a word about my revert policy while, while we're here. Uh, for these first missions, like, until at least until, like, I get back from the MUN, it's going to be no reverts whatsoever, but, like, on, I'll start allowing myself some leeway on the more advanced missions, but I, I'm not entirely sure how much is too much. I still want to be entertaining with explosions, but I also want to get things done. Because I will not have a lot of free time this semester. As you can see, I am back in my dorm. Uh, which, granted, I might not have even upload any of the videos I record at home by now. <laughs> but, anyway. Uh, anyway, so, up to space we go! So you notice we didn't make any changes to the craft, but what we're going to do is we're going to spin the craft up with fins, and then detach the boosters. And now let's fire this booster. So that should be good, and we should be able to go into, uh, we, we should be able to get where, we, where we're going from here. And now that we've reached our good apoapsis, I'm gonna tip over so we don't go too high. Should be 300 kilometers, okay. And now we can detach that. We're in space, we can conduct our first material study. So this is how this mission was supposed to go, so far at least. Uh, so we're gonna 
conduct the materials study here at Apoapsis, and we've gotten the two sciences, and we're going to descend into the atmosphere, and while we're right here, we're going to fire this booster to slow down. That should take us to almost a standstill, so we shouldn't uh, burn up to re-entry heat. And, yeah, it took us down to, like, 500 meters per second. There's no way we don't survive this now. Like, if we don't survive this... Okay, yeah, we're going to survive this. Let's, uh, pop the drogues, uh, fairly early. So then we can, like, just pop the mains, like, as late as possible to have to, av to avoid having, like, time warp. Like, a ton. Thirty, twenty, ten, 20, 10... And we've done it. Okay. Bob Kerman will go to the mud. Maybe if this works, it probably won't. Um, so basically, I I don't have the technology to do a bunch of precision maneuvers to like take. I I don't have. I don't believe I have the technology. Shut up, Discord. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I don't believe I have the technology to uh, uh, return from the moon right now, easily. I mean, I probably can if I tried hard enough, but that's not entertaining for you two. So, I'm going one way to the moon, and then I'm going to- Shut up, Discord! I'm going to transmit my data home uh, to the other, uh, what, whatchamacallit. I I'm going to transmit the data home using an antenna, which I haven't done in a long time. And I'm going to use that technology to unlock Cepatrons uh, to uh, hopefully uh, get the technology to rescue Bob. So sorry, Bob, you're on you're on one way. I know this is your second mission, and you, you, okay, yeah, this is your second mission. You still have to survive one more after this. So the issue is, so we're gonna this, this final stage. You'll see it. I hope to take it. It'll take me to a standstill right above the mine if I time it just right, and then I'll use the girder up here, uh, the, 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 the the which has an impact tolerance of 80 meters per second, uh, to hopefully. Uh, be uh what what you might call it it'll be my crumple zone it, it'll I'll, I'll be able to land without killing bob hopefully it's i'm probably gonna kill bob who am i kidding <laughs> uh this is a pro no it's not a problem we're good uh it might be a problem okay let's let's get the fins out let's jettison these solid rocket boosters fire the center one and this should get our apoaptus in space should might not but the, the keyword there's a lot of shoulds in this mission there is uh, an alarming amount of shoulds in this mission. Oh, if this doesn't get our apoptosis in space, then we can't get our apoptosis in space. Okay, never mind. We, it, our apoptosis is in space, so it's going to be fine. Stage Jessen. Uh, and let's get to our apoapsis here. And this stage will get us to orbit. And actually, hold on. We're kind of going in the right direction. Oh, okay, no. I'll uh, spin around afterwards uh, so we don't like go all the way to the moon on this like one attempt. The issue is that the command pod's torque is so low that I don't know if we can. Like, I guess I suppose we can do half of the burn kind of this way. But that's the thing, is the burn's already almost over, and we still have half of the fuel tank left. So... Uh, okay, so if we just, like, go really intense this way... We should be able to be fine and still not enter, like, like, the issue is this, this stage right here is tuned to, like, exactly put us, uh, on a MUN intercept. And if we're, like, in a higher orbit than that, it won't work, uh, unless we get clever, which we will have to get clever, it looks like. Uh, so, how are we gonna fix this? So, in this exact next stage, we have 902 meters per second of delta V. We need to put ourselves on a MUN maybe impact trajectory using 902 meters per second of delta V. We could just go really normal, I guess. And like play with a lot of radial. Or what we could do is we could go at Apoaptus and see how much fuel it takes to get from there. And we'll just wait a few orbits until the one's in the right spot. Oh, hey, that actually works in four days, but sure, 902 meters per second. Okay, so we're kind of there and it doesn't have to be exact because we have an entire additional stage here with corrections. The only problem is that the correction can only be applied in one single increment of 340 meters per second. So <laughs> it would have to be a quite correction. This is why I want Cepatron so badly. It makes everything 17 times easier. Exactly 17. No decimal swap. It's exactly 17. All right. Uh, Bob? Good luck. After this, there's not really much coming back. You, you can still come back with those two. There's a way, but like, 
it's a lot harder for you to come back after this engine firing. <laughs> oh man, I remember back in the day, I kind of I made a solid rocket booster moon base in sandbox mode, and that was kind of the one of the most unique things at the time I had done. It still holds a fond spot in my memory. Please tell me I didn't like completely misread the delta V readout. It's gonna be fine, right? Six meters per second off. Okay, but we still have a one encounter. How bad is it? Oh, that's not bad at all. That is a completely doable transfer. I just need to wait for the MUN to be in the right spot. Which should be in literally one orbit. Nice. Now, the trickier part. We want to be just barely on an impact trajectory. And a burn right there will do it, but we'll also be going faster. So what's the burn here to get myself to a standstill? Okay, so if we clip into the planet here, we can see when we're at a standstill. Is this a reasonable number? It'll take 918 meters per second. We only have 816. So, in, so this maneuver right here, instead of 340 meters per second straight radial in, some of that has to be retrograde. Four kilometers, close enough, I think, ish. 785, that's not enough fuel, but we can wiggle a bit to burn off some fuel. And we do need to be a bit closer in. So I want to move this a little bit forward. Oh man, that's too, ah. Because this periapsis is a bit high, I think. Actually, no, I think that's an acceptable periapsis. I'll just make sure to make, aim ever so slightly more in than the actual maneuver node suggests. So, especially because like this maneuver is over 340. That'd be a disaster if we just flew by the bun because we didn't go. So, so I, I do want to get on an impact trajectory. Okay, so we got that in 13 seconds. This stage has a burn time of six seconds. I'm going to burn a bit early because it'll put us lower. Uh, decouple. Fire. I forgot to do... Okay, I, I can do high space science in a second. Uh, I'm burning in a little bit more than I have to. Oh, uh, that's a disaster. Our periapsis is 13 kilometers. Our periapsis is 13 kilometers. That's not a landing. We can survive. That's not a landing we can survive. I even forgot to lower the thrust limiter. Oh no. Um, okay. If we go exactly radial in, actually, hold on. What lowers our periapsis more right now? A retrograde impulse of like five meters per second gets us down to like 11. And, and a radial in impulse of five meters per second ish gets us down to like nine. So radial in, fire, the decoupler. Please don't. Okay, there we are. That didn't do anything! That didn't do anything! <laughs> okay. Uh, never fear, Bob. You can always get out and push. This is a solid propellant uh, EVA pack, right? <laughs> no, I, I don't... As long as the I don't use the EVA pack too much, I am not opposed to using the EVA pack uh, on solid rocket only-ish missions. 12.8, 12.7, this is so slow. But at least it's kind of holding in the right direction now. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to limit myself to one jetpack of cheese for this mission. Uh, so, um, what's the lowest amount I feel comfortable with getting back in the ship with? 0.1, well, 0.12-ish. Now, which side is the hatch on? Hatch is on the other side, perfect. 0.9, 0.8, Point six. Okay, for future reference, I can probably go down to point 0.5 and be fine, but I'm not going to chance it. So, our final periapsis height is 6 kilometers. We have to fall from 6 kilometers. And we have 8 seconds propellant. That's essentially an instantaneous burn. Uh, and if we fail, we get shot out of the solar system. Actually, hold on. If we fail, like we could just go back to Kerbin right now. But that doesn't give me views. So... <laughs> uh, so Bob, your 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 sacrifice for propaganda. We've got 816 meters per second in the tank, so we need to waste roughly 20 meters per second. But it won't matter because our our sideways velocity. Like, okay, hold on. Is there a mountain coming up? Because we want to land as high as possible. Like we want to see. Actually, on that's a high area right there. Uh, fire the engine. Okay, 
We get a left at 20 meters per second, and we are kind of headed towards a high area. Um, but we accidentally boosted up a bit more, so we have further to fall. So what's our impact velocity going to be? Landing. Uh, impact velocity. It doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't say. Landing? Does it seriously not say impact altitude, impact time, but not impact velocity? Oh no, I'm sorry, Bob. Okay, new plan. We're going to keep the solid rocket booster attached. Uh, hold on, quick, no, no, right, okay. Surface radial out. And we're going to really quickly transmit, uh, his last words. I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have planned that bird better. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Ultimate Steve out. <laughs>